I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Snowy and I are sitting here underneath a pine tree, one of the pine trees my late dad planted for me. This tree now is over 30 years old. It's a beautiful day on the farm. It's an autumn day. The cattle are grazing. There's a real peace here. I want to speak to you today about a potter. I don't know if you've ever been to a pottery shop. I am fascinated. My wife Jill is an artist. And of course, she loves anything like that. Anything to do with painting, art, anything creative. I love to see a potter at work on that spinning wheel of his. When he takes that lump of clay and he makes it into a beautiful pot or an ornament. It is really quite something to see. Or a pot, our African ladies here in Africa, we, they don't even use a spinning wheel. They make massive pots that they can carry water on. And they carry them on their heads. And I've never seen any woman with a back more straight and rigid and proud than a lady carrying a, a pot on her head, a potter's pot, one made of clay full of water. It's a beautiful sight to see. The potter. You know, if we look at the Word of God in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18 and verse 6, look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. I want you to think about that scripture. You and I are not the potter. Oh, no. We are actually the clay. And the Lord has taken some clay, and some of us have come out of some very dark places. I'm one of them, desperate. Lord, if you don't help me, I'm done. And He's helped me every time. He takes us. He made us out of clay, didn't He? That's right. Right at the beginning of the world. And He puts that lump of clay on the potter's wheel, and then He makes a beautiful creation out of that. Don't forget, we are not the potter. We are simply the clay. So we mustn't think too highly of ourselves. He can make us and He can break us in an instant. I've also seen a potter when he's busy with this beautiful work of art and something happens and he doesn't like it. He just breaks it right down to zero and he starts all over again. The Lord can do that. We need to treat Him with love and respect. He loves us so much. Do not push against the goats. Do not work against God. Work with God because God wants to work with you and I. And we need to understand that, folks. It is so important. If you want to fight with somebody, fight with anybody. You can fight with the devil. He's a loser anyway. But don't fight with God. The Lord has never lost a fight in His life. He is the potter. He is the creator. His hands are the hands that can make or destroy he wants to make you up. He wants to make me up into a new creation. Allow Him to. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes you go through a rough time. You say, Lord, how long is this going to take? Well, it's going to take a lifetime. For me, it's been 47 years now, and He ain't finished with me yet, as they say. He's still knocking off the rough edges. He's still smoothing out that area that he needs to make that he wants in order that we become an object of glory for him. He's making us in his own image. He's creating us so that we too will be good ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ in this dark kingdom in which we are living now. So folks, I want to encourage you, please allow him to work with you, allow Him to mold you and to make you a beautiful creation. Because that's why He died for us, so that you and I might have eternal life. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.